Hey there, it is Cami from the blog Tidbits at tidbits camicom I am thrilled to share with you our old world European inspired Christmas home tour. I hope you enjoy touring and come away with inspiration for your own home. So I say home tour, but it's really just one room. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be showing you our living room decked for the season. You may already know we are in our, no, our new pole barn home that we built ourselves and we are still making our way through the home to finish all the spaces. Yes, even a year later we are not done, but we are doing our best to make progress as time and money allow. I wanted to keep Christmas decor really simple this year so that I could just reserve our time and money <laughs> towards finishing our home. Now it turns out I just love the simplicity anyway of our Christmas decor this year and I'm really glad we were able to still cozy up the space and make it feel festive. I did have plans to decorate like the kitchen and our finished bathrooms and even maybe our front porch. But when we got sick a couple weeks back with a virus that you may have heard about, <laughs> uh, it really shifted my priorities and we just focused on getting better, resting and doing the bare minimum. So all that to say, a living room tour is it and I hope you will enjoy it. I will leave all the sources linked below. Now our living room is a wide open space with antique or thrifted furniture pieces to add some character. Uh, you may remember when I painted this Facebook marketplace shelving unit, I could have added seasonal decor on each shelf, but instead I opted to just keep it really simple and I just added a beautiful fresh cedar wreath with a splash of my black cherry linen ribbon that I make and sell in my Etsy shop. I also created this vintage bell swag to hang from the center of the wreath. You'll notice my use of this deep red burgundy color throughout the room. Now I'm calling it my color of the year for Christmas. My family really begged me and wanted more of a traditional Christmas look. And like red is not usually a color I feel super comfortable with in my home, but by using this like deep, almost neutral red, we all are very happy with the results and it's just so beautiful. I also added a fresh cedar wreath to our side door with some black linen ribbon and a brass horn. Now while wreaths are very nice outside, <laughs> um, I was feeling a little selfish and just wanted to enjoy the smell and the pretty greens from the inside of the house all season long. Now let's take a look at our Christmas tree. Now we cut this beautiful tree from the mountains as we always do, it's our absolute favorite tradition. Um, this is one of the prettiest trees we have ever found. I love the height and the disbursement of the branches. Uh, I pulled out our dehydrated orange slices that we have now had for two years. Um, they have lasted so well. I also draped our dehydrated cranberry garland around the tree, which has also lasted beautifully for two years. Now the cranberries are a perfect shade of burgundy red and they look so natural and pretty. I made this cranberry garland by drying them in a food dehydrator. I will warn you, these juicy little fruits do take days in the dehydrator, but they are so worth it. We also sprinkled some pine cones around the tree. I tied sweet little linen ribbon bows with really long tails around the branches. I bought a couple of types of burgundy ornaments um, balls to add to the natural ornaments. Um, I think it makes a really good mix. I had a few brass bells to hang here and there and I made some brass stars which I just showed you in a recent video on my channel. Now for the lighting we love to use these battery operated candle lights on sparse mountain trees. I find the string lights don't work well for a sparse tree. Now it's just because you can see just way too much of the strings once you get them up there. But these candle lights, they're so easy to maintain. They're easy to hang, they're easy to replace if you need to, and they just look so charming. Now under the tree I have some reusable black present boxes tied with some pretty linen ribbon and topped with things like fresh greenery. Um, orange slices or other things that coordinate with the tree. I love using these kind of boxes. I will just 
put them under the tree and add to them as my kids' gifts come, and then I just tie them back up. It really saves us a lot on wrapping paper, and they just feel so special to open on Christmas morning. Um, that's really it for the tree. We really love how it turned out this year with its splashes of burgundy, natural elements, and loads of texture. So over on the mantle, I hung some fresh cedar garland, which is actually now very crispy, <laughs> but it's still pretty and it will rest there until after Christmas. I placed my thrifted brass candlesticks on the mantle and I tucked some oranges inside the garland. It's not a perfectly styled placement, but I find it charming nonetheless. I've mixed in a variety of velvet stockings that I found. Um, I have hopes to make a few more out of velvet fabric that I found. Um, and I hope I can get to that before Christmas for our family of six, but that might be one of those little details that gets dropped in light of just enjoying time with my family, but we shall see. I have plenty of other stockings to pull out of our boxes if needed. They just won't coordinate, but I don't think my kids will care. <laughs> So inside our faux fireplace, I've kept the stack um, of cozy wood that I added there during fall for our fall decor. And on our round coffee table, I added this burgundy vase I thrifted and simply placed inside of it some fresh greenery. I purchased a few winter art pieces for our frame TV and we'd like to switch them out. I looked high and low for a digital print of a baby Jesus because I really wanted that as the focal point of the room, but I could not find any that would work for a frame TV. So if you happen to know of one, like a digital art piece, um, please send it my way. I love this side table. Now, I can remember my grandma always having a bowl of shell nuts on her side tables around Christmas time. And I kind of wanted to carry that tradition on. As a child, I preferred her stash of trail mix so that I could pick out the M&Ms, <laughs> but now I see why um, the shell nuts were more endearing to her at Christmas. To spruce up this table, I added a fresh wreath to the table and placed the bowl of nuts in the center, and I just love how it turned out. So on the other side table, I just placed a vase with greenery and some Christmas magazines and books for us to look at. I found this sweet little vintage train at an antique store and found a spot for it on the inside of the windowsill. Finally, I'll show you the linens that I swapped out for our couches. Now, I bought some green velvet fabric on Amazon and made a cover for our long lumbar pillow, which I love to have on this small couch. Um, I love the mix of the green velvet with this black muslin throw. I think it's really pretty. On the other couch, I found some velvet burgundy pillows and mixed them with some um, off-white pillows that I already had and a pretty neutral throw blanket. On our rocking chair, I placed another splash of burgundy red here with this throw blanket and just kept my leather pillow because I thought it added a nice mix of texture. I love how it all came together. The only thing that has me sad about all of this is that we could not find the pieces to our olive wood nativity set. We still have a lot of boxes in storage and I have somehow lost all of those pieces, but hopefully next year that will come out and take its rightful place in our Christmas home. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour. I will leave some links below of other tours I've done in the past. I kind of have a lot of fun with themes and I have decorated in many themes throughout the years such as um, the one year I did a colorful Christmas, I did a French farmhouse Christmas, a cottage Christmas, and more. You might enjoy looking through the archives of my blog and being inspired by some of those ideas. Okay, I'll be mostly signing off of work to enjoy the season with my family um, or using my time to promote my Tidbits planners, but I wanna wish you a very Merry Christmas. I hope your season is filled with the much needed peace that comes through our savior, Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful new year and you can bet I'll be back for more inspiration for do-it-yourself living.